Hey everyone, before this video starts, I just want to say sorry if there's uh, any bad audio, it's because my headphones aren't actually working at the moment. Um, in this video, we're going to be doing rebirths, so let's get straight into it. So, first we're going to go into our workspace, open up. Uh, in our events, we're going to add in a brand new remote event. So click this plus and add a remote event. We will call this rebirth. Um, in the future, we're making a menu for multiple rebirths. You can buy like a hundred at once, a thousand at once, and so and so. Um, next, we're going to open up our event script and copy what we've already got. Um, then paste it again. And we're going to come back to that. So just click off that for now. Now, open up your server script service. Go to leader stats. And now, I've actually got the other project open here. Just to kind of show you how this will work. Because now we're adding a new value to the leader stats, which are here. This is how I've done it before. So, rather than, basically, we do the exact same. So, just copy this, local points, and paste it again. We call it the exact same. But rather than here, where is this points.name? Rather than the same points, uh, this will be... Um, Rebirths, and just rename this to Rebirths. This is just because it's easier to save if they're all the exact same variable name. Um, and then that's literally all we got to do for that. Data store, now we need to add this to our data store, so open that up. Um, now what we need to do is copy this local save value, paste that. Local save value 2 equals player.leaderstats.rebirths. Copy this here. Oops. Yep, that. Go down. This will be save value 2. Get saved. And I believe that is also 2. But I'll just double check. Uh, save data. Yep. Yeah, it is. Okay, awesome. And then here we'll do comma and save value 2 dot value. That just all that does is adds our second value to our uh, like array, uh, which obviously I've done here as well. So that's exactly what you're meant to do. Uh, next up, what have we got? All we got to do now is down here, uh, savings. Just do comma plr dot leader stats dot. Um, then this would be rebirths dot value and that's our data store done for that so that's all that done now we can go to events and say dot um rebirths no rebirth dot rebirth dot on server event colon connect blah 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 and now I just double check this I know that's correct but you never know uh, okay, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So now, then what we would do is we do player.leaderstats.rebirths.value plus equals one, because that's a new thing we can do now. We do player.leaderstats.points.value equals zero, because obviously you want to reset, don't we? Uh, and that's our thing done there. Now we need to make a button. Uh, buttons, this is going to be our first GUI. So, where is this starter GUI? Right click. Uh, and then, in, actually no, click on this little plus. And we're going to insert in a text button. Yeah, text button. Um... Now, we might want to open up our properties. Mine isn't showing because I've got a weird glitch at the moment. But uh, we can fix that in the future. Or soon. Now, I'll just call this Rebirth. Um, and go into your properties. And where it says text, Rebirth. Just name that. that. Uh, I'm going to make my colour white. With a background colour of like a lighty blue kind of thing. 
Uh, there's a scaling thing that we can do, which we will need to do, which we'll go through, but... Okay, and then there's that. We'll get back to the button's design in a minute. Yours should appear. Mine hasn't because of a glitch. I'm going to reset and then take you through the designing properly in a minute. Because there's also some scaling stuff we've got to do. Now, anyway, add into that, I believe it's a local script. And I, am I correct? Yes. And we need two. Okay. The first one, I'm just going to copy that for now. Don't worry, I'll write it. It's just as an idea. Okay, so basically just write everything that's here. I'll write it with you. So local player equals game dot players dot local player. Then script dot parent dot mouse button one clicks colon connect a function. So basically whenever the button's clicked, if player dot leader stats dot Prestige, no, dot rebirth, sorry, ignore the prestige. That's just what it was. Dot rebirth, dot value, times 1000, plus 1000, times 1.15. So that's saying every rebirth will cost 1000 1, times 1000 of how many rebirths you currently have. So if you have five rebirths, it's going to cost 5000. Plus an extra 1,000 to make 6,000 times and whatever multiplier you want, just to make it more random. Don't make this too big. I'm actually for the sake of it's going to make it 1.13. Is less than or equal to player dot leader stats dot points dot value then. And we'll do workspace dot events dot pre um, rebirth no colon fire server awesome that's that okay and then this we can control d to make another one and what this script will be is basically if i get this up it's gonna be our text script so it'll look a bit like this so we'll write Local PLR equals game dot players dot local player while wait do so that creates an infinite loop basically if player dot leader stats dot pre uh, rebirth dot value times one thousand plus one thousand times one dot one three it's very important that that equation is the same as that. They have to be the same. So it's now equal to PLR dot leader stats dot points dot value. Then script dot parent dot text equals click to rebirth. So this is just saying that if you have enough, then you can rebirth. Else script dot parent dot text equals rebirth in. And then dot dot, which adds whatever variable we're about to call, which in our case is going to be plr dot leader stats dot points dot value times by one thousand plus one thousand times one dot one three minus player dot leader stats dot points dot value this is just an equation and then dot dot points and that's just that's just an equation which will um, tell the player how um, how long until they can re uh, rebirth for prestige or whatever uh, now my rebirth button is broken for some reason I keep getting this quite a lot now I don't know if I'll be able to fix that so I don't think I'll be able to test this yet. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I might have to restart my computer for that. Don't fancy doing that because, you know, but. Dunno. I will change the position and see what that does. 
But when you go to size, um, wait, I'll change the position first, say, 10. Okay, I'm gonna have to reset. So I'm just gonna file and publish. Uh, and I'll be there in a minute. Okay, everyone. Because I'm really stupid, that's why. The reason why we can't see the button is because we need to add in a screen GUI first. So just call this screen. Um, call this main screen, sorry. So click on the add and add in a screen GUI. And then call this main screen. Drag the rebirth into the main screen. And that is huge. <laughs> uh, yours shouldn't be that big. I don't know why mine is. Because the scale is at 100. But why, I don't know. Um. Yeah, there we go. Let's kind of resize that. So I'm going to put mine down here. I'm going to do another video in the future on like UI, um, making UI look good. But for now all you need to know is um, just put that wherever you want. And then this might be the painful bit, but click on the rebirth button. And on the position, make sure the X is 0, 0, whatever. Wherever you want it. Make sure the offset is 0 for both of these. And the same with the size, make sure there's no offset. This means that no what no matter what the size of the screen is, your button will always fit there. Otherwise, you know, it'll be going everywhere. So just make sure that. Anyway, now we can test it. So let's give this a test. And we'll see what will happen. Um after uh, next video, I think well, I've got a list, but I can't. Uh, it's not open at the moment. Next video, I think we're going to be looking at. I'm not sure though. Might be looking at more rebirths, multiple rebirths. I'm not sure. I'll have a look. But anyway, we're in. It hasn't given us our text yet, which I'm not sure why. But uh, we have got our rebirths. I know why. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, make sure. Okay. It's because in this these scripts, I've done dot rebirth. The these need to be dot rebirths. Um, dot rebirths dot value. Okay, that should fix that. Now it should say, you know, like the actual text that we require. So it should be like rebirth in, in my case, I think it's like 404, 494, I think it is for me. Might not be, but if it is, that's um, not quite how that should be. Okay, why is the maths gone weird like that? Right, click to rebirth in times 1000 plus 1000 times. Sorry, everyone, I'm just I'm confused how the maths has got. And I want the text to go. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's why this point should be um, rebirths. Yeah, that's why. Sorry. <laughs> and this should now work. So, yep, 626. Is that correct? I think so. Yeah, that will be correct because of the times um, 1.13 bonus that I got. 
So anyway, now I'm just gonna go into the console by pressing F9, click on server, and do game dot players dot oops dot cool guy two four six white t dot leader stats dot points dot value equals nine nine five. Now I only need one three five more. So I can probably just go pick them up, to be honest, with orbs. I know that this isn't very exciting at the moment, this game, but don't worry, we've got way more to do. Uh, oh, next island might be the multiple island door, actually. Um, oh, yeah, we'll see. Could be a portal, could be a door, I don't know. Could do both. But... Okay, there we go, we've got a thousand, and we rebirth, we have one rebirth. Now, rebirths don't do anything at the moment, which is what we're going to do now. So, if we go over to events, we'll do where it says plus one. Actually, this can just be plus equals one now. Plus equals one. Plus player dot leader stats dot rebirths dot value. So, now for every um, one rebirth they get, it'll give an extra step per you know, step, basically, um, which we can test now, it should have also sta saved our rebirth, um, if it did it correctly, then after that, we can, I think that will be the video, so we'll have a look, uh, yeah, next video I'm probably going to do the doors for the, like, multiple islands, but I'm not sure, but yeah, I, I feel like I tend to upload like these sort of videos like every um I didn't save did it because I used inspect whatever not inspect uh I didn't save because the savings glitched on the studio but you know we can just give it to ourselves again can't we so um game dot players dot no not players dot cool guy two four six yt dot leader stats dot points dot value plus equals nine 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 now there we go now we can rebirth for one now we get two every single step which is awesome and our rebirth points have gone up awesome it i guarantee it will save don't worry it should save if not let me know in the comments and i can fix that next video but that's basically it for now so thanks for watching like comment, subscribe and bye